In today's episode, you will learn how to create your own Android cell phone application to control an LED using Arduino HC-05 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. For the best understanding, I used only two buttons, light on and light off. These two buttons are used to turn on and turn off the LED. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to add multiple buttons. This LED can be replaced with the transistor to control a relay which can be used to control AC loads or it can be replaced with a MOSFET to control high ampere DC loads. This Android cell phone application is designed and programmed in Android Studio. In this tutorial we will cover number one circuit diagram explanation number two interfacing number three Arduino programming number four step-by-step -step Android application designing and programming using Android studio and finally number five testing without any further delay let's get started The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is a very basic circuit diagram designed in Gatesoft Eagle 9.1.0 version. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. The link is given in the description. An LED is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino through a 330 ohm resistor. This is a 2.5 volt LED and that's why I connected this current limiting resistor. If you have a 5 volt LED then there is no need to connect this resistor. In video you will see I am not using this resistor as the LED I used is 5 volts. The main reason I added a 2.5 volt LED in the circuit diagram is that this LED is commonly available. It really doesn't matter if you use a 2.5 volt LED or a 5 volt LED or even if you add a relay to control a 220 volt AC bulb. It will have no effect on the programming. On the left side you can see a Bluetooth module. You can use HC-05 or HC-06 Bluetooth module. If you are using a Bluetooth module for the first time then you can watch my getting started tutorial on the Bluetooth module. The link is given in the description which completely explains how to change the name of the Bluetooth module and how to change the pairing code. The Bluetooth module TX and RX pins are connected with the Arduino pin number 2 and pin number 3. Pin number 2 and pin number 3 will be used as a serial port which will be defined in the programming. While the VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volt and ground pins. This is the HC-05 Bluetooth module. The TX and RX pins of the Bluetooth module are connected with pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. And its VCC and ground pins are connected with the Arduino's 5 volts and ground. This is a 5 volt LED and that's why I'm not using any current limiting resistor. The cathode side is connected with the ground while the anode side of the LED is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. So that's all about the connections and now let's have a look at the Arduino programming. As you know my friends in Arduino we have only one serial port which is available on pin number 0 and pin number 1. As I always say never use these pins for communication with other devices. The Arduino's default serial port should only be used for the debugging purposes. You can always define other serial ports using the software serial library. So that's the reason I added the software serial.h header file. I defined a serial port with the name blue on pin number 2 and pin number 3 of the Arduino. Pin number 2 is the RX while pin number 3 is the TX. On the third line, I defined a variable data of the type long integer. This variable will be used to store the number which is sent from the Android cell phone application. LD is connected with pin number 13 of the Arduino. Then I defined two variables, password1 and password2 of the type long integer. 
The number 92 is used to turn on the LED while 79 is used to turn off the LED. As I said earlier, this LED can be replaced with a relay. This way you will be able to control anything you want. Then in the white setup function, I set the LED as output and set it to off state using the digital write function. Low means off and high means on. To activate the serial communication, I use the serial dot begin function while 9600 is the baud rate and similarly for the Bluetooth module. Then starts the while loop function. While blue dot available equals equals zero. This line means that if the Bluetooth module has not received any data from the Android cell phone application, then simply wait over here. If blue dot available greater than zero, this condition means if the Bluetooth module has received data from the Android cell phone, then store the received number in variable data, and then using the F conditions, the number stored in variable data is compared with the password 1 and password 2. If the number is equal to the password 1, then the LD is turned on, and if the number stored in data is equal to password 2, then the LD is turned off. So that's all about the Arduino's programming. Due to the tutorial time limitation, I explained all the designing steps and programming in an article which is available on my website. I have added so many pictures that will help you understand how the designing and programming is done. This tutorial completely explains how to add buttons, how to set the captions, how to send data to the Bluetooth module and how to generate the APK file. I have already installed the app. Now let's watch this project in action. As you can see the Arduino is already powered up. I'm using a 12 volt adopter. As you can see currently the LED is blinking fast which means that this Bluetooth module is not connected with the Android cell phone application. First of all open the Bluetooth. Select the Bluetooth module and enter the pairing code which is 4321. As you can see, it's added. Open the light control application. Click on the search button and select the Bluetooth module and then click on the connect button. As you can see, now the LED is blinking at a slow rate, which means that this module is now connected with the Android cell phone application. As you can see, we have only two buttons on the screen, light on and light off. Light on will be used to turn on the LED and light off will be used to turn off the LED. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.